How to analyze cantilever beam? What is a cantilever beam? How to analyze a cantilever beam with the calculations? Deflection of cantilever beams. All those will be discussed today. I'm Prasad from Structural Guide. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. What is a cantilever beam? Beam that is fixed at one end without no rotation and free to rotate other end is called the cantilever beams. In addition, the beam supported on the columns also can be considered as a cantilever beams. You can see in this figure a cantilever beam that is supported on the concrete reinforced concrete column. How to analyze the cantilever beam? The analysis of the cantilever beam source is not that complicated as the continuous beam. So cantilever part can be analyzed very easily. And the calculation of the bending moment can be done quite easily. So if for example consider a beam having a point load at H. So the bending moment when you design the cantilever beam, we say here this is the support. So we have to find the bending moment and shear forces here. So bending moment and shear force can be calculated very easily in this kind of beams. If you know the force, force into length, you can calculate the bending moment. Then the shear force is equal to the vertical force. Here the shear force also the same. So the same force will be applied as a shear force. In this case, we haven't considered the weight of the beam. If you consider the weight of beam, that also added to the bending and shear forces. We'll see how it is done. Now let's take a beam with the uniformly distributed load. We have a beam with the UDL. So how do we calculate the bending and shear forces at the support here? Here the you you know that UDL W W L W into L that is the total load applied on the beam. Then it's divided by the length by two. This L here the L should be capital L. So length divided by two. So then the total bending moment we can calculate from this equation W L squared over two. This is the bending moment. Then the shear force. Shear force is the total force applied at that particular section. Now we have a W here. Then you have you know the length from here to there length is L. So total shear force is W into L. So here also if you have the beam. So that beam weight need to be considered. Now the weight of the beam also we have to calculate this case that you have to add it to the this load when you calculate the bending moment. Similarly, the when you do a design of this kind of beam, so you have a point load. Now we have to we want to calculate the bending and shear forces of this. So in this case also we have to consider the bending and shear forces. Now from this method you know how to calculate the bending and shear forces. So similarly, for the this uh, when you have a forces at a support or towards the support or anywhere. You add the bend, you calculate the bending moment from the this method for UDL and then point load you can calculate the from this method. We can add together to get the final bending moment in these kind of situations. Deflections. Deflections calculations we have given. You can use the derived formula. You don't want to derive the formula. There are formula that is have been derived for each loading case depending on the length and the uh, axial force or the point load applied on the beam. FL cube over 3 EI. Okay. F, F L T L F into L to the power 3 divided by 3 EI. This is the equation that we can use to calculate the bending moment. So here the E is the last modulus of the beam. I is the moment of initial. Similarly when you have a UDL also you can calculate the deflection. So you can use the equation this equation WL to the power 4 divided by 8 here. So from this equation you can calculate the deflection. Now in during the designs you may need not to calculate the deflections always. There are some other guidelines given in the standard. In the BS British standard they have given the span over effect to death ratio. They have limited the span over effect to death ratio in a way that it allowed or it remained the deflection is acceptable level. That also can be used instead of calculating the deflection. In other cases, there may be different loading arrangements in the cantilevers. 
hold load always may not be apply H load always may not be a UDL uniformly distributed load in such cases you can you you might need to design that bit. how do you find the bending moment and shape so also that also not that complicated so deflections you can calculate from this uh, equations directly so you can calculate the bending moment from these equations now the bending moment also you can calculate now similarly you take one meter strip or you can if you have uniform load this not there's no issue but if you have a uh, varying load you have to consider certain equation for calculation the bending moment that is because now there is a variation in the loading so in such cases you have to write the equation manually then you can calculate the bending or else you can use the equations like this that have been developed previously to calculate the bending moment and shear forces with that we end the today discussion we today discuss about analysis of the cantilever cantilevers so any kind of cantilever like beam or cantilever slab also can be analyzed in similar manner as we discussed today thank you very much we meet again for a new video